Hello and welcome back to the metaverse. Well, For Honor has finally made some changes to the dodge attack mechanic. I don't want to say I called it. But I've been like 2 for 2 on this predictions on what I'd like to see. I called the hero gear, and said something should be done about this as well. Now I can say with certainty, we will get the For Honor characters in bikinis for the summer. Yes my down bad army, we will get to see Lorbrina's long sklong of the law whipping around the battlefield, but seriously, I thought I'd see how well, or terribly the dodge attack changes in For Honor were implemented, of they were a good idea in the first place, and of course, my 100% factual, and taken as gospel thoughts on the changes, and if any of you disagree, then by the lord's decree, I'll smite you fuckers into 10,000 BC. Firstly I'd like to say these changes, it gives a bigger penalty to dodge attack happy players, making attacks like Paris means the risk versus reward is much more in the opponent's favor, a 16 damage dodge attack that leads into combos for most people is good, but most people would say a punish of 24 or 28 into full combo is much better, some characters got some love finally, Nuksha who probably had the slowest dodge attack for a light has finally been sped up. So now it actually has somewhat of a use. But this goes to say it's not without its faults. Some characters benefit greatly from this change. I mean we've all seen Han who by now. Bro is literally teleporting to your location for free. Then goes into full combo like he didn't just pull some anime shit on you. While some other characters should have gotten some changes before the patch happened. Some who fits the mold of needing some changes before the patch is 100% peacekeeper. To start off, her dodge attack was likely the top 3 slowest heavy dodge attacks in the game. It's been sped up sure, but the trade off is so much worse for PK now, the trade wasn't really that good to begin with, but now it's much worse, a dodge attack that doesn't lead into any type of mix, it's just the dodge attack than her first light that could be parried. I personally think that if her dodge attack was changed and she could combo like the rest of the cast then I'd be fine with that, but as it stands. It seems kind of fucking stupid to risk it honestly. All and all I love the changes, it raises the skill floor for casuals sure, but anything that stops people from just doing one move and actually makes fighting opponents fun and refreshing again, and not just let just do one move and hope for the best, is 100% welcome from. I've been on my hands and knees begging for my opponents to adapt with me, if I play one more opponent that dodge attacks only, I'm 100% making her only fans and selling feet picks. but, like all things in For Honor, it just needs some changes and it's a great change, hell, a super healthy change for the game. Certain characters benefit too greatly, and some don't necessarily benefit from it at all, overall I'll give this patch a 8 out of 10. Fix some simple shit and you've got one of the best patches we've gotten since the CCU update. 